Hey everyone and welcome to Ginger Prime. My name is Brian and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back Soul Nation. I'm going to do something a little bit different in today's guide when it comes to Genshin Impact. This is kind of a double guide. What ended up happening is I was on my way to unlock the Spiral Abyss, which you unlock by just doing the story and having to go out and do this little quest. Long story short, pretty simple. Continue to follow, continue to level up your AR. I ended up running into this incredibly electric hypostasis adept boss and he kicks butt. He is really hard. You can see that here right now, hands down, awesome fight. And I was totally unprepared to tackle this challenge, but I ended up winning with a little bit of thought and a little bit of adjustment to the overall boss mechanics. So this is gonna be a boss guide as well as I'm gonna show you how to unlock the Spiral Abyss. And the reason you wanna do that is it's got an awesome free character. Uh, I cannot pronounce her name because I'm gonna butcher it. And welcome, I am the Butcher of Words here at the channel. If you're new here, hopefully you'll give me a little bit of grace when it comes to that. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down the boss fight and then we're gonna talk about Spiral Abyss. If you look in the description or if you look in the playhead of this video, you'll actually find a way to kind of jump right to the section that you want. So if you wanna help getting uh, the puzzle for the Spiral Abyss unlocked, uh, you know, just jump ahead and thanks for watching. Otherwise, let's go ahead and dive into the mechanics of this boss and I can show you how to defeat him because the rewards are truly uh, incredible. So <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing you really need to know about this boss is that you can only hurt him. You can only hurt the center. All the squares when they're out and about will continue to damage you. And he's got multiple mechanics. Right now you see these wonderful little laser beams and you can use the arena to hide behind and thus protect yourself. But note, just hiding behind that could push him further along and you could miss out on a damage phase. He also has apparently what I'm gonna call rock, paper, scissors, smash. And this is a combo that can devastate a character. Note that once ever you do dodge, you just keep moving, make sure you have plenty of stamina, anyway, stamina, uh, on, uh, on your character so you can get clearly out of the way. Then you're gonna see him put out this different electric waves. Now you can go ahead and hide just like you can with the electric laser, but just note that it's just, you can also run around dodge uh, the, the different patterns themselves. So just kind of keep that in mind. Go in, make sure that your characters are healed up, especially during these phases, uh, because it's just a little bit simple. You can also try and climb up to the towers and try to put out some damage on him, but be ready to be able to put out damage. Don't bring your lightning crew because obviously he's going to be immune to lightning being an electro type monster. And so you can see here I'm using Amber and I'm gonna be able to put out damage with my fire arrows, which is gonna give me a damage bonus because of his electric type. So now you've seen that he's put me into a wheel of walls of pain. Don't touch the walls, they're gonna hurt you. And the electric blasts are gonna have a little bit of an AOE to them, even outside of the radius. So you can see here, I take a little bit of damage, not always the best case. Be careful though, when it comes to food and being stocked up because you can fill up your characters and thus you could lose if you don't have enough fire types. You can see that Amber right now is completely full on, on their life. Now he's gonna do a variety of patterns and there's really no set way that he goes about it. Sometimes he might just do kind of that fist and nothing else, but he's gonna open himself up to a damage phase and that's where you're gonna find the time to be able to put out as much damage as possible. Another form he will take is being uh, basically throwing uh, the various cubes that protect him at you. So just kind of take a look and see what he's doing. If he basically shows off his cubes, keeping his center full ready to present, uh, he's going to be tossing some damage your way. So just keep moving and dodging and you'll be just fine. You can use obviously the pillars to hide and then afterwards he's going to leave himself open for a nice little bit of damage. So here's an example of the electric waves. You can find plenty of time to be able to dodge. Just make sure you have plenty of time to get back in so you don't end up dropping a damage phase for him. Now here, as we damage the boss almost to the point of death, we've seen all the mechanics. However, what he has is one last trick up his sleeve. You're gonna wanna damage and kill all three of the different cubes he has here right at the end of his life. If you don't, he's gonna absorb the rest and he's going to use them to heal himself and you're going to have to continue to damage him all the way down. The good news is, is that even if you talk out or knock out, one of the cubes and one of the triangles, uh, you're gonna be able to continue that within that next phase. You can see here he healed up and thus is going back to his drill and his various mechanics, continue to dodge, continue to damage, will bring him back down to that phase. So that's the final thing you have to do to defeat him. And killing all three of the triangles will defeat him 
and thus bring up the treasure chest for you to open. It's gonna cost you 40 resin, so go in prepared and collect and enjoy your rewards as such. Hopefully this has been a help and a mechanical drive to this boss, and I'll be sure to be bringing you more boss mechanics here in the future. All right, so if you're just now jumping ahead and joining us for the Spiral Abyss, this is pretty simple and straightforward. Once you get to AR rank 20, you're gonna have access to the quest and be able to bring this up. What this is gonna see is you're gonna beautiful little purple blue portal that's gonna be somewhere lifted in the sky. Going out into the cape, you're gonna find yourself uh, with a puzzle of three statues, essentially the blue ghost type enemies. Running up to the first cliff, you're gonna be able to touch the blue ghost and it's gonna float down into the area in which that you need to have the puzzle complete to be able to get to the boost, to get to the portal, to get to the Spiral Abyss. Again, Spiral Abyss, I'll be giving some impressions and giving some guides on that because it is challenging content. Note that if you've been wondering where is the challenge in this game and you skipped over the first kind of boss guide that I just posted here in this video, note that the, <laughs> the Spiral Abyss can be pretty challenging, so you're gonna wanna become prepared. The second ghost is going to be over here on the left hand side. You're going to go run up to that. Go ahead and touch him. You're going to have to follow him all the way into the center. I did not do that in this case and thus I'm going to have to go back for him. Going into the center where all uh, kind of the ghosts are going to find themselves. You'll find a couple of lightning crystals and then you're going to find a couple of slimes ready to ambush you. Uh, clearing them out is should be no, uh, you know, <laughs> no difficult challenge considering the obstacles that you've already overcome to get to this point. So having taken out the enemies in the center ring, you're gonna to wanna to run further to the north, up to the peak, in which you're gonna find your third ghost. You're gonna chase this all the way back down into the center, and then they're going to go ahead and settle into their tower for you, thus completing the puzzle. With all the ghosts complete, you're gonna find that the center area is now a wind current in which you can jump up and fly into the portal, which is gonna take you out to the Spiral Abyss Island. It looks uh, very... <laughs> Very beautiful, I have to say, and it's relatively fast, fast, fast to dive through here. Now, what's important about when you get out to the reef, you're gonna wanna go ahead and look over to the left because there's going to be a little statue with a wind symbol on it. This is gonna be protecting a treasure chest. So you'll see here, I'm out at Musk Reef, and I wanna go ahead and use my wind ability to go ahead and trigger another fight, which is gonna help open up a final chest here on the island, thus giving me a little bit more loot before I go into the spiral abyss. And finally, running into the center of the reef, you'll find the Spiral Abyss. This is a very awesome piece of content, and if you get the ability to do so, I would go and check this out as quickly as possible. There are a lot of floors, a lot of challenges, and a lot of loot to be earned through the content itself. So hopefully this has been a help. If this guide was, be sure to give it a like. If this is a video that gets you to hit that subscribe button over here on Ginger Prime, hope you hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments below so I can welcome you officially to the Soul Nation. But for Ginger Prime, my name's Brian. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video, but until then, take care. This video is sponsored by me, Ginger Prime. Hopefully you'll check out my podcast channel, Ginger Gaming Radio, which we have lots of guests, lots of great conversations, and even more highlights. Links are in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks.